Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire V7 series laptop. This laptop comes with an iCore 3 version and there's some with iCore 5 and 7 and the exact model on this one you can find all the specific detail on the bottom label of the laptop on the bottom side. It will tell you Aspire V7 series model number ZQ and K -ta. and on the top of the serial number it give you the exact model which is a V7-48481-6682 and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to increase the RAM on this one because this specific one comes with a 4 gig RAM and people like okay can I upgrade the RAM and what are the configuration of the RAM that we can have people keep saying I buy two RAM DIMMs and it doesn't have space for them that's true but there is one only RAM DIMM available this model comes with a 4 gig RAM, so if you want to know your max capacity for your RAM, on this specific one is a 16 gig, and I made a short video, I will leave that link in my video description, how to check your any laptop or any PC that you have, you can check it with one simple line on a command prompt, only your maximum RAM capacity, so you don't have to go around asking people to know if they are saying the truth or not, check the link. And with that one, you can see what's the maximum capacity that you can laptop can handle. And in this one is a 16 gig, it comes with a 4 gig, and I'm gonna take you on a step by step how to open it up, how you can increase this. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You wanna flip it upside down. And we're gonna grab a few tools that we're gonna to be using. I'm gonna be using a screwdriver set, and I fixed a screwdriver set. And from here, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero or number one. And if you get the pro version of the screwdriver set, they will give you an opening tool and some tweezers. But if you don't, get the basic one and get the guitar pick. A guitar pick, a metallic one, is really suitable to opening covers, cases, stuff like that. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, on the bottom cover, we're gonna start removing all the screws, the two screws in the middle and everything all around. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my video helping you guys out to do your own upgrade, service, and maintenance, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribing. I'll greatly appreciate it. As always, always try to answer all the questions you guys leave in a video comment and help you guys out. All right, now that we removed the screws, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, and we're gonna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, somewhere over there, just like that. Okay, about two or three millimeters in, and we're just gonna twist it, and you should hear some clicking. That's what you wanna hear. And you wanna do the right, and left side all the way to the back corner and the cover should come out pretty easy and just lift up from one side wiggle it around lift it up and it will come out so this is the bottom cover bottom chassis all right and down here we're going to see the whole thing inside the whole battery the hard drive this cooling system and right here you can see the one simple ram dim which is right in here before we proceed People keep telling me like you should remove the battery. You do not need to remove the battery. There's no power coming to the RAMs at the moment. But if you want to be really cautious and paranoid, you can just by remove the uh, battery jack just by pulling these cables back simply or grab it from the side of the jack and pull it evenly backward. Or put it back in straight in and pinch it towards the jack. Just like that. You can see the RAM chips are soldered on the board, so the second DIMM, it is soldered on the board, so there's a 4 gig soldered on the board, which counts as one DIMM. So what you want to do in here, these are DDR3 RAM, so you need to grab another RAM. From here, we're going to grab uh, another, I have a 2 gig right here. You can grab an 8 gig, so you will have 8 gig and 4 gig right there. So you can go up to 12 gig maximum because you can't go 16 gig because they don't let you change the other one so if you had an 8 gig with an 8 gig will be actually a 16 gig maximum RAM capacity but the maximum that you can go is a 12 gig let's imagine this is a 2 gig but if you had an 8 gig you bring it down make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim right there bring it down in 45 degree 
let me show you in this position you want to bring down in 45 degree you want to push it toward the jack so you have to click in toward the jack right there and right there and then simply we want to push it toward the motherboard and you should hear a click just like that in those two triggers and that's how you place the ram to remove the ram but if you triggers it stay open that means the ram is not all the way in you pull the triggers away from each other and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle so you pull it out in the same 45 degree angle don't yank it towards the ceiling you will break it so bring it down in 45 degree towards the dim and towards the motherboard and it should have soft clicking right down there and that's how you upgrade the ram okay uh, you will not be able to turn it on because i just saw on this model there's a little trigger in here right there this trigger has to be pressed in order to power on the laptop so you can actually simply just put the cover on top of it just press on top put it on top so it makes a click on that trigger right there and put it down now you can try to power it on and it turns on so you're going to tap on f2 and you get to the BIOS and inside the BIOS you can go to the main and you can see now I have a 6 gig RAM right in here because I had a 4 gig and the 2 gig now I have a 6 gig so if you put an 8 gig you will have a 12 gig so and there we go now so you're going to power it off and if you unplug the battery you obviously have to plug back the battery and the last thing down here would be to just put down the it screws right on the bottom cover again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade if you have any question or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment as always i'll try to answer them as soon as i can don't forget to click that like and subscribe i appreciate it i'm just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws and that should be all